How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of the Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. And today we're gonna take on the final gym in the Galar region, the Hammerlock Gym, Hammerlock Stadium. Oh yeah, so you wanna make sure you're all healed up for this, so give me just a moment, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. And done. All right, so we need to go back to the stadium, which if you remember where that is, it's actually in the center of town, which would probably be easiest if I just straight up flew there, but eh, it's fine. I wanna see what's going on here anyway. Over here. Well, if it isn't Maryland, I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all is going on here? An overflowing red light? Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure. What's going on? That red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Gran! The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying that the red light and the darkest day are connected? Hey! Do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? There must be, or yeah, we'll help. Wow, those are some great options. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you'd join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Grand, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Looks like we all know what we need to do. So you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. I know what I need to do, all right. Defeat that Piers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Marilyn? Ryan's a tough nut to crack. Yep. Oh man, look at that place! That is a really cool looking design, it's not very practical, but it does look very cool. Hey, this is the final gym! Indeed. Alright, so we've been here before, but not to take on the gym. Now I think I already got the ball here. Yeah, you can talk to Ball Guy here and get the level ball. You can do that even before you need to take on the gym. I did that when I first visited Hammerlock, I do so believe. Also, pay attention now. Everyone's cheering for me. They're like, wow, hey, Maryland, oh, good luck. You know, I have a lot of fans, which is kind of neat. Um, so something very important about this stadium, you will be fighting in double battles. So things aren't exactly, uh, they're not as straightforward as they previously were. That's something you have to be mindful of. Um, on top of that, they will use a variety of weather conditions. So I'd recommend having some Pokemon that can handle them. Now, if you watched the last video, you should have access to, uh, where did it go? The safety goggles. These can help protect your Pokemon from the weather damage. Not really necessary, but I, I figured I'd at least point that out. If you have any moves that, you know, add weather conditions like sunny day or rain dance, that might be handy to bring here as well. So you can control the weather. But if you don't, you'll have to deal with some added threats. All right, anyway, the long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the dragon user Ryan? You bet I am. In that case, please use the changing room to change into your uniform. Oh yeah. That uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Now, head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they make it go back to the vault you were in earlier. I mean, I think they just take you there, but still. It's fine, though. We'll actually have the match in the, uh, 
the stadium you saw there. Let's see, how many gym challengers are left, huh? Not even ten, eh? All right then. Marilyn, time to explain the Great Ryan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challenges you can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Ryan has taught me two things. First, the dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Alright, here we go! Gym Trainer Sebastian! So, Pelipper and Sligu. Yeah, every single uh, double battle we have to fight here, we'll end up having a Pokemon that sets up a weather condition as an ability. In this case, Pelipper has Drizzle. So, not exactly good bringing Cinderace here. Shouldn't be a problem, though. I'm just gonna use U-Turn uh, and get out of there. I also think I'm gonna use Freeze Dry here on Pelipper just to get rid of that thing. I don't know what Sligu's gonna do, but it's probably less of a threat. So again, in the rain, you have to worry about water moves doing a lot more damage. Fire moves will do less damage. And on top of that, there are a few different like side effects to that. There is a long list, to be honest. Uh, let's see. It's a little... A little worrisome here. I don't actually know which one to bring out. I guess I'll bring out... Warbeetle, maybe? Nah, let's bring out Roserade. That should be fine. I just am a little worried about that Pelipper. Because Hurricane, that's a move that'll have perfect accuracy in the rain. As well as Thunder. But since we took down Pelipper without a problem, I don't know if it had either of those moves, but that is something just to be mindful of. Water Pulse. Alright, well that was a good switch on my part. Okay, let's go ahead and... I guess we'll Giga Drain. Should be fine. Uh, Freeze Dry? Yeah, let's just use that. Oh, no, no, what the heck? I... okay. <laughs> that looks really bad, doesn't it? I swear I didn't even press down there. I was using the D-pad, but yeah, it actually accidentally targeted Roserade. Thank goodness I took it out, but yeah, that was very awkward. You have to be very careful in double battles that you don't accidentally target your own teammate. Weren't fine here, but you know, if something gets knocked out, you might not, you know, be familiar with where everything in the battle is. Usually you can just mash A though and it's fine. Doubles, there's a lot to think about them. It makes them difficult, but fun, too. But yeah, that was weird, because I know I didn't press down, and it, it kind of moved there. I can see why you managed to make it this far. I swear there were only two of them just a moment ago. I don't know where this third one popped up from. Time to, to face the second trainer. Come on, Camilla! Oh, cool. Well, you do have an opportunity to heal, I guess, if you need. Otherwise, it's not a very interesting arena. Uh, you also have an opportunity to switch out your Pokémon, too, which might be helpful, because I have a feeling we're going to have to fight against a Sun team next. So again, having things that can counter that, good idea. Let's use Cinderace and Rune Regis. I think that's probably a good idea. Except Bulldoze. Hmm. I guess I have a few Pokémon weak to fire, huh? Well, this... I can use Bounce and Bulldoze. That should be fine. Alright, let's go. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's Pokémon play. Alright, Gym Trainer Camilla. And, yep, she has a Ninetales and a Turtonator. Yeah, so this is a Dragon-type gym, so that's why you'll see a few different Dragon-type Pokémon mixed in with the weather. But it's not strictly dragon. That's kind of something interesting. If you're expecting it to be that, oh, you're going to be in for a world of uh, 
disappointment. All right, I'm kind of worried about that Turtonator, but I think I should be fine. Uh, ooh, I could Rock Blast, actually. Let's use Bulldoze to slow everything down. I should be fine. So again, with Fire, or with uh, Sunny Day, rather, Fire moves are strengthened, Water moves are weakened. So even though these Pokemon, well, even though Ninetales is weak to Water, uh, it's not going to do very much. So you have to watch out for that. Of course, Ground-type moves, they're going to be the way to go here. Or Rock-type moves. Rock Tomb. Alright, good job, Cinderace, getting out of the way. That burn was really unfortunate, but oh well, it's fine. I will... I'll use Rock Blast on Ninetales. It'll probably end up hitting the Turtonator. I don't think I can take it out. Yeah, I guess I couldn't take Ninetales out. Ow! Painful. Okay, well, Nine Tails is out of the way, so that's nice. Moon Regus wants to learn Earthquake. Oh, that is kind of scary. I mean, it's a really good move. Uh, shoot. Like, honestly, sometimes lowering speed is pretty handy. Although this thing isn't really very fast, that even after lowering speed, it probably won't matter. Yeah, you know what? I'll get rid of Bulldoze. I can always teach it back. I find Rock Blast is kind of handy. <laughs> but you have to be very careful with that in a double battle, because that will hit your uh, your other Pokemon. Okay, so yeah, you're employing another speed-lowering tactic. Rather unfortunate, but we should be fine. Let's go ahead and... Hmm, how do I want to handle this thing? I guess we'll bounce an Earthquake. Uh-oh. The Shell Trap. I think that's just for moves that make contact. So I think I'll be fine. I don't remember. I haven't fought enough Turtonator, or used Turtonator enough to tell you. Alright, so Cinderace avoided it, that's fine. This, yeah, I guess it did activate. Ow! Yeah, you gotta watch out if you damage it. And it uses that. Maybe it has to be a physical move. I honestly don't remember. Like I said, I don't really use that often. I know it's its signature move. Well, it's fine. We got Sir Fetched here to clean up. Uh, let's just give it a brick break. Oh boy. Oh no. Ow. That thing is painful. Oh man. Thankfully, I stocked up on healing items first, which is good. Yeah, definitely bring a lot of those into the gym. You can heal between fights, of course, which is nice. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. I can see those seven badges you have are well earned. Well, I don't know about that, but... You've made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Arya. All right, so let me heal up really fast here. Okay, they're all healed up. So next up we have to deal with um, uh, hail conditions. So yeah, I gotta watch out for that. Uh, I think I'm gonna lead with these two because we have to deal with some ice Pokemon, of course, and a dragon, but shouldn't be that bad. Okay, that should be good. Uh, Well, actually, hold on a second here. Let's switch into Arctazolt, because like I said, we do need to deal with the dragon. Otherwise, having fire should be good. Okay. A double battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. Yeah, that can oftentimes be a decent way to handle things. Also, remember, you might have quite a few TMs that can help here, too. Things like Helping Hand, things like, uh, well, any kind of status move you can use to help out if you're struggling with this. It'll give you access to strategies you might not have even tried before. Okay, so Hakamo-O, Dragon Fighting type, and then a Bomba Snow, 
a grass ice type that sets up the blizzard. So I'm gonna get rid of a bomb of snow right away. And then I'm gonna use freeze dry on Hakamo'o. Hopefully it won't take down my Arctazolt. That was what I was kind of worried about, but it's fine. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so Obama Snow's gone. Again, it is super weak to fire among so many other weaknesses. That thing has so many weaknesses. All right, uh, so it's gone. Freeze Dry will hopefully be enough to take this thing down. Yep, it does. Now, Hail doesn't actually boost the power of Ice-type moves, but it does increase the accuracy of Blizzard. And on top of that, it does damage to non-ice types between turns, so you gotta watch out for that. Cooperation between trainers and their Pokemon just brings out their strength even more. All right, cool. So, there we go. Uh, well done. I'm honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Nice one, Maryland. You completed my gym mission. Come on. Time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Oh, yeah. All right, well, here we are. It is time. Now, it doesn't look like you heal up, but I think you can probably leave at this point if you want. I should be fine. Okay, so, which weather conditions have we run into so far? We've, of course, run into rain. We've run into sun. We've run into hail. So, this final one will continue that theme. And it'll be against sandstorm. So, you gotta watch out for that. And on top of that, it is not exactly uh, just pure dragons. You're going to have to deal with a lot of different Pokemon for this. So uh, what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use Orbeetle here to set up Reflect. That'll help reduce the damage I take. Now, this puts me at kind of a risk because there's a lot of like moves that can damage Orbeetle quite heavily. But Orbeetle's Light Screen, or not Light Screen, Reflect will last for quite a few turns. And then on top of that, I think I'm going to bring along Roserade, which seems like a decent idea to take down one of the, the main threats here. But you're going to want to watch out. There's a lot of type diversity here. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. I'll try to keep you in the loop. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle, though I've got to admit I didn't think it'd be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Ryan, will have to show you. Gym leader Ryan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. <laughs> Gotta take a quick selfie. Oh yeah, you are challenged by Gym Leader Ryan. Now, again, from what I've heard, I, I have had some people say, wait, isn't it Ryan? I believe the pronunciation is still Ryan, like, you know, just R-Y-A-N, it's just an alternate spelling. Um, this is not his Japanese name, so don't assume that it's a Japanese pronunciation. I guess that's uh, probably the thing that tripped a lot of people up. Alright, well anyway, here we go. The final gym leader in the game, Gym Leader Ryan. Let the winds blow! Stream forward, Sandstorm! Yeah, so he leads with Flygon and Gigalith. So Gigalith now has Sandstream for its ability, just in case you missed the memo. And that is kind of scary. So I'm going to go ahead and use Giga Drain against that thing, just to get it out of there. And then I'm going to set up Reflect on Orbeetle. Well, really on the whole team, and that'll last for several turns. This thing primarily, or his team primarily uses physical moves, so that's a really good idea if you can set up Reflect or anything to buff your physical defense. Okay, Flygon with Crunch, yeah, this is gonna actually not hurt that bad. So Sandstorm, it will do damage between turns to any Pokemon that is not a Rock, Steel, or Ground type. And on top of that, for Rock type Pokemon, it will increase their special defense. 
I believe it's by 50%, so that's why Gigalith didn't just get completely destroyed by Giga Drain. Um, alright. Anyway, we need to take down Flygon. I might as well have Orbeetle do whatever it can. Now, he did set up Stealth Rock, and that's kind of scary. That'll do damage to your Pokémon as you switch it in. So, if something gets knocked out and then I send in a new Pokémon, it will take damage. That's something that Gigalith likes to do. Otherwise, it does have Body Press, which does a pretty good amount of damage. It does damage based on how high your defense stat is. And it does have a lot of defense. Why does everything want to learn Slam? It's really not a good move. Okay, so we have this Flygon still to deal with. It has a new Dragon-type move, Breaking Swipe, which we're seeing right now. It hits both Pokémon. And it will lower their attack. So yeah, physical attackers, beware. Thankfully, that shouldn't be a problem here. Flygon itself is a ground dragon type. It has levitate for its ability, so ground type moves won't affect it. Not that that's a huge deal. All right, so there's Sandaconda. This is another thing that can set up the sandstorm. So you have to watch out for that. If you hit it with a physical move or something that makes contact, I believe it is, then it will activate Sand Spit, which sets up the Sandstorm again. After that and Gigalith are out of the way, you don't really have that much to worry about, so that's a good thing. Um, as far as the sand goes, and you really don't want to deal with that sand. I'm just gonna get as much mileage out of Orbeetle as I can, because I might as well. If we can get rid of Flygon, that'd be great. If we can get rid of this thing too, that'd be good. Now, it does have Glare, which can paralyze you, and that's something you gotta watch out for, because being paralyzed, being at a uh, speed disadvantage is not good for this fight. Alright, well, we took it down without much issue. Again, that thing doesn't gain a special defense boost from the uh, Sandstorm, so that's rather handy. Flygon's out of the way, so this is really good. If you can turn it into a two-on-one fight, do it. Definitely do it. Take that opportunity, because... You know, that's when your opponent's really, really, uh, really in danger. It might be impossible to pull off a combo going solo, but it's not impossible for me to still win. Here we go. Here is his final Pokemon, Duraludon. And yes, as the case with most other gym leaders, I mean, we just fought one that it wasn't the case for, this thing can Gigantamax into Gigantamax, um, Duraludon, which is pretty big, pretty scary. This thing is a steel dragon type, so I think I'm gonna want to get Roserade out of here. Probably Orbeetle as well. Um, it will Gigantamax this turn. I don't think, yeah, like, all these moves, well, I guess Shadow Ball would technically hit it. Alright, we'll, we'll use Shadow Ball, it should be fine. So yeah, I, I think Orbeetle's done here. Let's bring out... I guess Rune Regis would be good? It doesn't have any Dark-type moves to worry about. It has Breaking Swipe, so you gotta watch out for that. And, uh, oh, actually, Surfetch would be really good here, too. Let's send out Rune Regis. Oh yeah, there's the Stealth Rock. Bring the storm! My partner will send, will send everyone in the stadium flying! Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Gotta get that selfie in, right? Oh yeah, look at that big skyscraper dragon. <laughs> Pokemon's getting so weird. Alright, anyway, yes. Gigantamax Duraludon. Steel dragon type. Very big, very beefy. Pretty strong, all things considered. Yeah, here's Max Rockfall. That would have done a lot of damage to my, uh... Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> Jeez! That did, like, nothing! Like, you couldn't even measure that. But that would have crushed my poor Ore Beetle, so... Yeah, um... Well, I mean, you know what? If you're gonna Dynamax, I'm gonna Dynamax. Let's do that, and let's use Max Quake. I think that'll be a good way to finish this thing. Again, since I'm Dynamax, I don't have to worry about Earthquake actually damaging my allied Pokémon, so good time for it. Now, Dynamax...
Gigantamaxing or Gigantamaxing in double battles, definitely a way different strategic play here, because you can end up supporting your Dynamax Pokémon using something like Helping Hand, you could use things like Follow Me to try to attract attention away from it. It's definitely- Whoa! <laughs> Alright, see you, Roserade! Ow! That was a critical hit. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, it, it can hit pretty hard. Gotta watch out for that. Okay, well, this should be enough to finish it off at least, so that's good. And just like that, I have gotten the, well, almost gotten the 8th Gym Badge. I've beaten the final Pokémon of the 8th Gym Leader, so it's just a matter of time. Also, this is a really cool stadium. Like, just looking at all those, like, windows or arches up there, really neat. You defeated Gym Leader Ryan! I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. And you've taken plenty. Also, even your Rotom's sad. And he cheered up. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems I've grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory. The Dragon Badge. He is very tall, by the way. Ta-da! You can now catch Pokemon of any level. You've collected all of the gym badges from the Galar region. Now win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much, at least, for beating us in battle here today. You've collected all the gym badges. At last, it's time for the Champions Cup, or Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you all do in battle. Hey, Maryland! Sorry to hold you up, but there is something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, TM99. It contains the move Breaking Swipe. Nice. Uh, lowers their attack stats. Yeah, that's the thing that he used a few times. And secondly, here's the Dragon-type Gym Uniform, the mark of true strength. The Dragon Uniform, sweet. Number 183, Challenger Maryland. You've completed the Gym Challenge. Good on you, kid. Now, prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Ryan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. Whoa, <laughs> I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you and Maryland and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Maryland. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. Mm-hmm. And now I can catch any Pokemon in the wild area, and anywhere for that matter. There's no longer any level restrictions or anything like that, which is really good. Hey there, Maryland. You gave Ryan a good thrashing, and that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there are some things we should talk over. That light that covered Hammerlock it was just like the darkest day, where it said that the giant Pokémon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokémon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing, or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. A legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. Aw, oh, yeah. Time for a new Dynamax. Not really. Uh, <laughs> it's Professor Sonia. Y yeah. The two heroes that protected the Gala region from the darkest day and the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. 
You or Hop could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on, head to the station or you'll miss your train. Yep, that's right. Now we can take a train to, uh, well, not quite to Winden, but close enough. We'll take it to Route 10. However, before doing so, it might be a good idea, now that you can catch Pokemon of any level, also look at everyone cheering for me now, isn't that great? Small detail, but I like it, I like it. Um, yeah, now that, uh, now that we can catch Pokemon of any level, it is a good time to make another trip back to the wild area, as well as going back for some other optional items and optional stuff, now that I can ride on the water, which is really handy. That's what we'll tackle next time. And after that, we'll be headed towards Winden for the Champion Cup. Oh yeah, see you next time, everyone. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and turn on notifications to get updated. Be sure to check out my website for more Pokemon Sword and Shield coverage, including a full mobile-friendly Pokedex, a powerful team builder, and a written walkthrough. See you next time!